Yo, what is going on everybody? I'm Steezy and thank you for checking out today's video. And we have got this very cool Eternatus box to open. Now I know you've seen these out in the wild a couple, three months ago? Uh, I've been holding on to mine. I don't know, Walmart just randomly stocked with this box that I don't know if many people knew was coming out. Um, it, it looked pretty cool. It's got an awesome pin. It's got some Pokemon cards from a bunch of different sets inside of Sword and Shield. And um, I think today's the day I finally open it. I've been holding on to it just because the box looks so cool, but uh, I like my other boxes better. So this is next up. <laughs> but it's got a lot of cool stuff inside of it, so I'm actually pretty excited for today's video to rip into it finally. I guess without further ado, welcome to Collecting Cardboard. All right, so inside of these boxes, we have a very large Eternatus coin. Um, uh, it's so big, it's hard to flick. I don't know, I'm just being goofy. We also have this pin, which is super, super rad. I'm actually going to go ahead and hook pin this up right now. Oh my god, that was difficult. There we go. I'm going to put this coin away too. Look at this. I'm being so productive, I'm cleaning as I'm doing videos. We also got this Eternatus V card, which... I usually don't like Eternatus cards, like at all, because he's a really weird looking Pokemon. But since the background of this color is green, I think it looks super, super cool. This actually might be my favorite promo card that I've purchased. Um, hello, cat. <laughs> that I've purchased recently. Um, I don't know. I kind of wish it was out on display. Who knows? I've got space up here. I might just throw it up here. Is it worth anything? No, yeah, but it's cool looking. You also get the Eternatus V Max. This is more I'm talking about. It's just hard to. I get it and I see it, but it's so difficult to. I don't know. At first glance, it's like, what's going on? And I don't like that. I don't like it. But it's a cool card. And then <laughs> you get that confusing one really big. I would really have liked to have seen that one, but it doesn't make sense. You gotta do the V Max. So that's pretty cool. Another big card to add into my collection. I'm. I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm good with that. But we also have the main part of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Here, let's do this. Does that look cool? Oh, yeah. Composition. The main part of the video is six packs of Pokemon cards, and we've got a variety here. Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, and two Battle Styles. Every single one of these packs has potential, and by God... I could really use a good card right about now. It's been a very long time. So, I don't know, fingers crossed, maybe today's the day we get an absolute banger. I would really like it. Oh god, fingers crossed for me, guys. Let's go ahead and get started, though. We're gonna start with Sword and Shield. You know I like to go in order. Um, I don't even know, I don't even know if I care if I get a double at this point. I just want a cool card. Let's see if that's gonna happen. What if we started the very first pack off and it was like something super cool? Oh my gosh. Okay. Darkness Energy. A Mantine. Which is kind of Oh, featuring a Rimmerade. I love it when there's a, a special guest in the card. Quick Ball. That's good for competitive. Metal Saucer. That's also good for competitive. Sizzlipede. You know, he's all right. A Rookie D. Ghastly. That's a fun Ghastly. I'm not sure what's going on in the picture, but that is a fun Ghastly. Kalabapus. Slandit, the reverse rare is, a Hitmonlee, non-rare, which is okay. I like Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. They're the coolest of the fighting type Pokemon. And the rare of the pack is a Snorlax. He's a happy boy. He's happy. So if he's happy, I guess I'm happy. It's hard to look at, it's hard to watch somebody having fun and it not make you smile. Or am I the only one that's like that? Like, if you are, um, like, let's just say you're walking through Walmart and you see this little kid just, like, having fun, goofing around, doesn't that just make you happy, too? It makes me happy. I don't know. Darkness Energy again. A Charge Bug. I don't know if I've ever pulled a Charge Bug this whole year. A Metapod. 
a burning scarf. If you're wearing a burning scarf, what are you going to do? Take it off? Doesn't make any sense to me. Roly Coley. A Stunky. I'm not going to lie, his face looks like a butt. A Clefairy. That's kind of cool. I like that. Voltorb. I love the contrast in this card always. Nose Pass. The reverse is an Impidimp, which is okay. And the rare is a Holographic Appleton. You know what? I, this card does not look familiar at all. And despite Evolving Skies giving me a ton of Appleton, <laughs> a ton of Appleton, um, I'm still happy to see this guy. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Now, if this ends up being our only good card, then I'm going to be upset. But for right now, I'm okay with it. The cool part about it is he's enjoying the smell of this flower. Take your time. You enjoy it. This cat... What are you doing, homie? You want to come up here in the video? You want to be in the video? Oh my god. Say hi. Now the dog wants to be up here. Come here. Say hi. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. Oh yeah. And this is the this is the basement clan right now. <laughs> okay. 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 Go play. Go play. Daddy's got work to do. All right, next pack. Darkness Ablaze. And you know... I'm wiping slobber off my arm. And you know there are two cards in this set that could just make my entire... I don't know. I was going to say year, but I pulled a lot of really cool cards this year. They could make my for last couple months, <laughs> at least. One, two, three, four. I think this card's upside down. I see it in my periphery. Okay, good. I got it now. <clears throat> Fighting type energy card. A Leron. Glimwood Tangle, a really cool spot to be. Dartrix being emo. Mareep. Ducklet. I can't tell if he's waving. If he is, hey. A Clink. Grimer. High five. A Wimpod. He looks like he has had a long night. Poor guy. Versus Jigglepuff, and the rare is. Ooh, that's a really cool Tyranitar. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I also forgot to put my other hit card right out here. That's a pretty cool Tyranitar. I love his face. Would you shut up? Look at his face. That's cool. I like that quite a bit, actually. I definitely don't have this. Wow. Mountain Swing does 250. Discard the top five cards of your deck. That sucks, but if you can recycle cards, that's no big deal, bro. That's super rad. I love that card. If we get just one more basic holographic, I actually will call this video a win. We have three packs left, so I think the odds are in our favor. If you didn't see, we're going Vivid Voltage. Um, there are four Pikachus in this set that I have yet to get, and it would be really cool if there was one sitting right here. Uh, that's all right. Look at this. We went... Darkness, darkness, dark. We went darkness, darkness. Fighting, fighting. Weird. Shuckle. He's got a saying, but I can't say it because it's got some bad words in it. Delmise. A steering wheel and an anchor. <laughs> Trumbeak. Cottony. I don't, I'm laughing. I don't know. It Probably you can't see it because I, I how I edited the video, but my cat jumped into my chair and it started spinning in circles. Really funny. Aracuda. Featuring Cramorant. Gotta love the cameos. Ninkata. I don't like you at all, sorry. A Picky Pack. So we got a Trumbeak, a Picky Pack. Do we have a Toucanon in here? Is that gonna be our rare? Puchiana. The reverse is some cheese. So that's cool. And the rare is an Orbeetle V. We got a good hit, guys. We got a good hit. I'm not sure I've got this card either. I think. Oh, I just saw a really cool part of this card, too. Hold on, let's get this in here. I don't know if this is on purpose or not, but look at his eyes, right? You see his eyes? Let's get a little closer. Watch the holographic shine. It's like right on his eyes where that comes out almost. It's like on animes when it goes right to him and it goes... You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, or Beetle V. Uh, I've been wanting to use this guy in Sword and Shield, but I've not run across any of them, so I'm kind of bummed. Uh, I think he's pretty cool. 
And yeah, I'm kind of sad. But at least I have his card now. So that's a win. I call that a win. Let's move on to Battle Styles. That's the last two packs. And, uh, you know, in this set, there are two really cool cards. One is a Tyranitar, and the other one is the my Ultimate Chase card for this set, which I just spoiled that for myself. And that is going to be an Empoleon alternate art. I've talked about it a million times. Psychic Energy, Urn of Vitality, Abufalant, Bruxish, whew, Electabuzz, Lickitung. What do you what do you even say about Lickitung? I don't even know. Cherubi, a horsey. It looks like it's at the Isle of Armor, which would make sense because it's battle styles. Right back there somewhere is my gym. If you know, you know. Murkrow at a graveyard. The reverse is a blip bug. We just got an ore beetle. Now we're getting the reverse blip bug. That's kind of cool. And the rare of the pack is. <laughs> you guys know I love my full art trainers. This one right here. Not because she's pretty, which she is pretty. But the colors of this card are popping. The blue and the pink, that is super dope. You know what? I've decided she's going on the she's going she's going on the book bookcase. She's going on the shelf. Let's put her in one of these bad boys. This card is super cool. I just there's something so cool to me about full art trainers. It's probably just I I really don't even know. That's super cool. I love that. I, I Honestly, there's not a thing I don't like about this card. The colors are awesome. Um, I don't know who she is. Maybe that's something that's a... I don't know. Can you hear that? Maddox, can you take a drink some other time? Thanks, buddy. Anyways, so that's an awesome card to pull. We've actually, this has been a good video so far. Uh, and we've got one more pack, too. I think we've kind of, I think we've, we're have we back on track. I think we're finally back on track. Um, you know, maybe the next video I won't get anything again. But as of right now, this video is an absolute win. And we've got one more pack. If you'd like to see this video, just go to the next level and be just even cooler. You know what to do? Leave a like for luck. Guys, I definitely appreciate it. Like, an insane amount. Uh, so what happens here, if you're not familiar with it, is when you leave a like on the video, somehow the universe is like, oh my gosh, they like his video. Let's go ahead and give him an extra cool card on his last pack to make sure that they're having a good time. Something like that. I really don't know. But I feel like it helps. I really do. I think it's time. Let's get into it. Let's get into this last pack. It's been a good video, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I absolutely appreciate it. I hope you had a good Monday. I hope you had a good Tuesday. And I just spoiled that card for me. That's okay. Um, and I hope the rest of your week is going going to go really well. Darkness Energy. A Spupa. Level Ball. A Buffalon. Mr. Mime. Galarian version. Man, I just don't know how I feel about that guy. Ball Toy? I don't know enough about Ball Toy to really say if I like him or not, but just by looking at him, I don't like him at all. Uh, me and Fu doing some really cool um, exercise. I just realized back here is uh, Mustard's building. I don't know those logs, though. Those are not familiar to me. Pachirisu? I don't know the last time I saw a Pachirisu card. He's probably one of the... He's on the cool side of Pikachu clones. You know, we've talked about this before. Each year, or each generation of cards, they always try to do um, a Pikachu clone. Something that's like a Pikachu. And Pachirisu, I think, is pretty cool. I think he does a good job. <clears throat> a Taepig. The reverse is... Oh, I thought that was a rare. It's not. It's a Honchkrow, so that's interesting. Honchkrow's not my favorite, but Voltage Dive sounds awesome. The rare of the pack, and the last pack, and the last card of the, this whole video is going to be, uh... A Tapu Coco V! That's not too bad at all! We actually killed it in this video. I think I'm out of sleeves, so we'll hold on. 
We actually killed it in this video. Uh, I... I like this card quite a bit. I don't know, I can't remember Tapu Koko off the top of my head. But first of all, it looks like he has a Mohawk, which is awesome. Number two, he's got a lot of yellow on him because he's an electric type. Awesome. And number three... You can really see him. I feel like most of his cards, it's hard to... It's like Eternatus. In most of his cards, it's just hard to see him. In this one, you can definitely see what's going on. And the background colors are super cool. This is a, this is a huge win. Sorry, had to get more sleep. This is a huge win. This box, I, if I recall, was $40. I don't know how much of all these cards and stuff is worth it uh, from a dollar standpoint, but from our whoops, from our hits and all of the cool stuff you get in it, this is definitely a win. Oh no. It looks like the dog got a hold of this. Come on out. Oh my gosh. These really are a perfect fit. They're hard to get out. Let's turn it around. Turn it around, 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 turn it around. Oh, turn the card around. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, that's much better. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, this whole video was awesome. We did so good this video. Let's go back through the hits <clears throat> and go through this again. I love that there's this hard case back here. We started off with an Appleton holographic, which does not look familiar, so that could be a huge win. Then we got this Tyranitar card, which I know I don't have, because I would remember that really, really cool face. <laughs> then we hit it up with that Orb Beetle V. I might have it already, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll tell you what, I don't have this thing. Sheesh! What's up, Phoebe? I assume is your name. I need to look who she is, because I really don't know. I have no clue. Then we hit that Tapu Koko V. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I suffered for so many videos, and then we come back with this one box and hit all of those bangers. How many hits did I get? One, two, three, four, five. We only missed one card of being a hit. Every pack was a hit except for one, and it was a Snorlax, which is still kind of cool. But nevertheless, I feel like that's absolutely fantastic. So, I, I don't know. Uh, for everybody that left a like to give me luck, thank you so very much. Um, it must have, I don't know, you must have sent some really good energy my way. And I thank you for it. <laughs> if you did enjoy the video, guys, and you haven't left a like yet, feel free to do so. I, you know, I appreciate it more than you probably know. Seeing a like on the video actually makes me smile pretty big every time I see it, so thank you very much. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you click the notify bell when you do subscribe. That way you know as soon as a new video goes live, even though I make Pokemon videos every single day at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. I'm taking this stuff into a whole nother level, guys, and it's, it's a blast. I'm having a ton of fun with this channel lately. Uh, I hope you can tell, and I hope you enjoy it too. That's all I've got for you today, so with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!